Impossible. Just gonna die in the end. <laughs> okay, guys, this, this is a video I am so looking forward to. You guys know that my whole family and I are huge Disney World nuts. And I had no idea that Swoozy used to work for Disney World. Now, I, I, I've i seen uh, some of Swoozy's vids in the past. First things first, it, I looked around and it seems there's a good number of reactions to Swoozy's vids. So I'm going to assume he's okay with reaction videos as always. If any of you guys know that to not be the case, if somewhere down the line he said something about not liking reactions or, or this that, or the other, please let me know. And again, it's not just because it's not like I'm worried about somebody coming after me or something. It's just a respect thing. If somebody doesn't like them, I would remove them. But it, I, I know Dwayne and Jazz seem to react to his stuff and a bunch of other people. So I'm hoping he's okay with it because we watch, uh, my wife and I watch Disney videos all the time. And one of my favorite things is watching the videos from the ex cast members, that's what they call their employees, just to hear the insides because we're so geeked out for it. But Somebody that's a high-profile, really entertaining YouTuber like Swoozy, and I had no idea. And this video is just titled, Working at Disney Be Like, and it came out uh, five years ago. <clears throat> Excuse me. But from what I understand, I guess he's done more videos about the topic since. I'm anxious as hell to see this. A again, I like Swoozy anyway, and then given the, the subject matter, ho hopefully you guys enjoy watching along with me. Well, we're leaving for Disney in a couple of days, so... Again, that's that's our go-to thing. As always, the link to the video, the original video, this working at Disney Be Like, is in the description. Please make sure that you watch the original before you watch any reaction video. I mean, that's just just the thing to do. I mean, it just is the courteous thing to do. It's a respectful thing to do, certainly. And when you're at Susie's channel, check everything out. Because, again, I know him to be a really, really entertaining YouTuber. This... I, I am so looking forward to this. Come on, let's go. I'm noticing a spike in Disney related videos here on YouTube. I ain't complaining. <laughs> All I'm saying is none of y'all turkeys love Disney more than me. I just can't wow. be on here every week talking about Tangled and Brave. That's gonna hurt my street cred. I'll be going to the cypher. I can't be in the middle of a freestyle <laughs> battle and have cred. these dudes clowning on me. Let me tell you all the kind of cast member I was. Wow. I was my eight-hour shift at Disney, clock out, and hang out at the I... park for the rest of the day until the park closes. You're the By man. Fuck I go hard in the... <laughs> and I do miss working at Disney. I'm not going to lie. However, comma, yeah. there's some things I don't oh, miss. Indian for Jones, example, epic stunt spectacular. Everybody and so the got to open that up, show once. Asking for free tickets. Be getting phone I'll calls bet. at 6 o'clock in the morning. I didn't like, even hey, think of that. I'm going to need you to meet me at the gate tomorrow. Uh, about 15 passes. Uh, <laughs> who is this? It's me, Charlie. Remember that time I gave you gum, gum. in school that one time? <laughs> Anyways, I was driving by a playground and, and I saw these gum don't come free, like, bro. Hey, who wants to go to Disney? <laughs> I know a guy. I don't even know any of these kids. So if you could just meet us tomorrow. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Emilio, put down that knife. I knew I shouldn't <laughs> let you guys watch Fight Club. I don't need anything. I'll get back. But something else I missed. What's the first rule of Fight Club? Cast member relationship. You already talked drama. about it. You know how many Disney employees would only date other employees? That's true like in a sure lot of workplaces, friends, though. You always got drama. Okay, if I'm single <clears> and you're single, excuse me. we both turn 30, we're just going to get married, okay? At Disney, here's how it goes. If I'm single and you're single in, mm, I don't know, 30 seconds, yeah? We should date. If, if, <laughs> I can't even wait that long. I've already changed my Facebook status. It's a fish. It's Facebook <laughs> a fish. If you're a straight I'm already in a guy, relationship. Working at the Disney parks, you have like a 98% chance of getting a girlfriend if you get hired. Here's God what. damn. A number of really good looking guys around you. I didn't. Don't even like been... girls. That eliminates a lot of competition right there. Whoa. And after that, there's only really two other types of what straight guys. I should have known this when I was young. Disney. They're the regular straight guys. And then you have the extra happy straight guys. They usually carry around a fanny pack just in case they have to time travel back to 1998 <laughs> to go to the park with their oh, little red doll and they push it around on a little shoulder. <laughs> and they're really concerned about trading pins. There's nothing wrong with these guys. It's oh, come on. Trading really pins is fun. I, I, I got to admit, I don't do it. My grandkids chance, love it. But in reality, that's like a 3,000 chance you have of getting a girl because there's virtually no competition, which kind of confused me. Wow. I had no girls and I was not that guy. There was one thing that happened to me at Disney. I'm sure this has happened to some of you guys. Goddamn. 
workers that actually don't put forward that much energy or maybe they put forward the same or even less but they're the ones getting rewarded so if you do anything and you like Ooh, exceed that expectations sucks. you get what they call a fanatic card everybody would get fanatic cards except for me there was one kid in the college <laughs> program who was literally breaking rules and getting fanatic cards you talk to the manager like man you remember the cheerleaders that came through last weekend yeah, of, of course. How can I not? Of course I do. I got one of their phone numbers. That's oh. great. Oh, my God. That's that amazing. gets you the card. I went back to one of their hotel rooms. You're saying yes to a guest request. I made out with her, too. Absolutely. Oh, what? And that was the Actually, request. I made out with two of them. You're just showing that you're a team player. That's what I love about you. You work well with others. <laughs> you, you know, when I left their hotel room. Very well with others. Gee, Willikers, you're going <laughs> above Christ. and beyond the Call of Duty Modern Warfare. They had $100 in it, too. I bought some crack with it. That's, that's I, it. And I that's could... it. I'm giving you a so one day, I just he, he deserves a card. I, even to get a I could tell you guys right? so many Disney great stories about interactions with the cast members. Next to Indiana Jones, and the guy that was I don't remember that. My boy Renee. So I got this idea. Must not have been Renee, down there for like, that. Hey, let me borrow one of these beach balls, son. He's me one of the big beach balls, and I walk into the theater and I tell everybody, "Hey guys, is it cool if I pack everybody's section?" Now, everyone at Epic hates packing the theater when you got to get down front and yell out in front of everybody. Hey, guys, can you scoot in? Can everybody can scoot in? Yeah, yeah. Everybody hates doing Killing that. all the available space. Oh, oh sorry, guys. Hold on. We just make sure it's not something important. And it is not something important. A scam call. What a surprise. Sorry about that, guys. <clears throat> Excuse me, but as long as I had to pause anyway, yeah, the, the, the person that's down there going, please fill in all available spaces. Sometimes I, I can make a video just telling you the reason that I am willing to spend <clears throat> as much money as we do at Disney. The rides are cool. Um, the atmosphere is great, but it's the cast members. The people that work there are just freaking phenomenal and i could tell you a bunch of stories about ways they've always gone above and beyond to make your vacation something really special space everybody hates doing that i even hated doing that so i get the speech <clears throat> go down front everyone i need y'all to do me a huge favor if you guys all scoot in over here i'll do a backflip off of this rail Vroom, everybody scoot <laughs> in. Get up, do a backflip yeah this is a three minute That I job. wouldn't have done. I, I could have tried. Section, over 2200 broken people. neck. By myself. Fuck I go hard in the pain. Pa pa then once everybody was packed in, <laughs> since you guys have been so awesome, guess what? We've been a party. And I break out the beach ball and I throw it into the crowd and everybody's going crazy with the beach ball. EDM music festival up in this piece. Steve Aoki shows up and starts throwing cake. The manager's <laughs> got wind of this. I started doing this for every show. You could tell on their face, they hated the idea that I was having so much fun. I wish you would come really? out here and say something. I wish you would, but you can't. And not only that, <laughs> after each show, Renee has a line around the block of people trying to buy beach balls. Buy the beach Get balls. I didn't even think this about that. Every weekend for three weeks in a row. You think I got a fanatic card for this? Nah. The man really? Is so salty. They're making it so obvious they didn't want me to get a fanatic card. Renee got a fanatic card for selling so many beach balls. They started handing Are you fanatic fucking cards out to kidding the guests me? in line who don't even work here. You know what? <laughs> Fluff it. Two tears in a bucket. One weekend, I go in there, I pack the theater, That's bullshit, bust though. out the beach ball, and then one of the AV techs walks over to me, and he's like, uh, hey, uh, what's your name tag say? Ad 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 can't be giving them the beach ball. <laughs> oh, yeah? Why not? Uh, see, we, we the tech booth, right? It's right up. Look right at See right over there. Yeah, I know where the buttons and pyrotechnics. Tech booth and, is. Uh, pyrotechnics. Right in the center. Balls in the center in section of the. Button, might blow some stuff up. Uh, yeah, I can't take the ball away right the, now uh, because these guys are waiting for the base drop. Seating. Uh, yeah, no. Yeah, okay. I, how, I, I, here's an idea. How about I stand on the perimeter outside the tech booth, and then as soon as the ball comes close, stop. Stiff arm. Just knock it away. Because, I mean, the ball weighs the 0. Protector. negative five ounces anyway. <laughs> yeah, so even exactly if it landed right. in there, it wouldn't press Do any a buttons. Do goddamn Listen thing. No. No. And after they shut down all my fun, they went right back to rewarding everybody else. Oh, oh, oh. Look at Steven. Look at him. He's role-playing with the guests. He's not role-playing. He's Captain Hook, the little boy is Peter Pan, and the little boy stabbed him <laughs> with an imaginary what? sword, and now he's, look at him, he's role-playing, he's playing dead. 
The little kid pretended to stab him two hours ago. There's flies buzzing around his mouth. He's over there taking a nap. Stop hating, hater. Stephen, get up. Come back to the office with me. Let me give you a fanatic card. Get, get the card, yeah. Stop Fucking Steven. Steven, you know what, Steven? You just stay right here. I don't want to mess with your mojo. I'll go to the office. I'll come back with like 15 fanatic cards. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, that was good. Uh, that, God. <laughs> that was really good. I had no idea. Listen, I'm telling you, Susie is, well, obviously you would know, 100% spot on. The, the cast members are phenomenal. Again, I could make an entire video just about things they've done that are above and beyond what you would expect or even what their job entails. And it's it's what keeps us coming back. And I've made that when you get back from Disney trips, you're always getting um, emails asking for your feedback and stuff. And I always make that plain to them. You know, my, my family is enamored with the place. So whenever we can afford, we will be coming back. And we even understand that if there's times where you have to tighten this or tighten that because of the economy, whatever, that's all fine and good. Just don't, don't ruin the cast member experience. Take care of your cast members because they're the ones, they're the face of that company, of those theme parks that keeps me going there and not over to Universal. Yeah, that, that was good. I, I would love to watch more of what Swoozie's adventures were with, with being a cast member.